is a heavyweight contenders match. About to make his way to the ring from the Serengeti, he is the alpha male, Monty Brown. Let's face it, this is a crossroads match for both of these men. Both the alpha male, Monty Brown, and Christian Cage, they have their sights set on the biggest prize in our sport, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. And you know that Larry Zabisco and the Championship Committee, they will be monitoring the outcome of this match when they determine the ranking and when they determine the list of top contenders for the NWA champ. The alpha male, as he gets warmed up, knowing by beating Christian Cage, who can deny him a shot? That's got to be going through his mind, just like you said. Who can deny him a shot? And introducing his opponent, this is Christian Cage. Here comes Captain Charisma, Christian Cage. He was introduced as TNA's major acquisition. The biggest jump in company history. That went down last month in Genesis. And he immediately reinforced his position with the TNA faithful by being his own man. He refused to join forces. He refused to join his longtime friend Scott Gamore of Team Canada. And in essence, he also turned his back on an association with the NWA champion, Jeff Jarrett, because that's how Christian Cage rolls. You're damn right. I'm going to tell you something. He came in here to be his own man, and I asked him about that. And he said, Don, I was never allowed to be my own man. I am here. It's a rebirth. And he has one goal in mind and one goal only, and that's to wear the championship gold. And he knows he's going to have to go through Monty Brown to get it. And who better to start off, if you're Christian Cage, than the alpha male Monty Brown? Yeah, talk about TNA management and the matchmakers at TNA not giving Christian Cage a soft opponent in his first ever pay-per-view matchup. The alpha male Monty Brown has one of the best one-loss records, Don, in TNA over the course of the past couple years. I, 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 off the top of my head, I can only remember him losing to Jeff Jarrett in a, you know, a couple of titles like my match uh, early on in his career. And, but since then, he's just wow. been dominant trying to get back in. And I'm going to tell you something, he's going to use his brute strength right here on Christian Cage because he knows that's where he has a major advantage on Christian Cage. No question. Size and power of this former National Football League linebacker. Six feet, two inches tall. 267 pounds nose to nose with Christian Cage. Of course, Monty Brown, a veteran of two Super Bowls with the Patriots and the Bills. And not taking too kindly the fact that, oh, Christian Cage pushing him in the chest. Oh, the open hand slap. I'll tell you what, these two are so good at, at the way they can talk. I wouldn't even mind seeing them have a debate in far off. But that's not how it's going to get done. And look again, the power of Monty Brown. You know, things are a little different here in TNA. We don't judge you, Don, when it comes to title shots by how good your, your in ring promos are, even though these are two of the best in the business. You got that right. You got to prove it to ring here in TNA. Duck of the back elbow. Christian Cage. Series of now the open hand slaps and he's got the alpha male really. I'll tell you what, he's trying to show the alpha male that he can beat him in his, his own game. And that right there could cost him. And going for an early pounce, he's not going to get it as Christian Cage grabs the ropes and goes out. He has already felt the pounce twice. And he wasn't going to feel it there. Boy, you're right. And then just as Monty Brown drops out to the floor, you talk about oh. <laughs> staking out his own claim in his own ground, a la Monty Brown. Uh, he knows how to get inside on an opponent's head, and that's exactly what he's doing. And Monty Brown, as he's taking the balls right there, is just mentally tough as anybody we've ever seen. And Christian Cage oh! trying to get inside the, and between the ears, and it looks like he's doing it right now. How about that move? Dropped out between the legs of Monty Brown, took him out to the floor, face first into the steel. Christian Cage going to go high risk from the top. Uh-oh. 
just didn't go at him quick enough. He took a little time to pose to the crowd, and that cost him. And now you see the power of Monty Brown as he just holds him up in the hole when he kicks out of it. Now Christian Cage uses his leg strength that time. Drop down, and then Monty Brown just gets tossed over the top. Whoa! Christian Cage way up on the top rope. Monty Brown on the arena floor. Look out below. Here he comes. Right at him, and he hits it straight on. Christian Cage, wow, what contact. I tell you what I like what he did right there. He, he made it so he hit him chest first. He tucked the arms back. They caught him, so he got the full force of the ball on Monty Brown, and he goes for a quick pin, not gonna get it. Now look how quickly Christian Cage went right back in. You see the years of experience, and yes, Monty Brown has the size edge here, but the experience edge goes to Christian Cage. Float over. He's gonna try it out. Check this out. Monty Brown gonna take him right up to his shoulders. Oh, and then dropped him down, chest first across the top rope. The longer this match goes, who would have the advantage in your mind, Mike? Well, I, I, mean, I you know, I, I would guess Christian Cage, but Monty Brown is, oh, oh man. He's such a superior athlete. We, we may not have to worry about how long this match goes when you look at that kind of pure, raw power. He press slammed him, and Christian Cage just splattered on the floor. Wow. I mean, that's... Can we take another look at this? He does it with ease. Wow. The power that he has, he just does it with ease. And Monty Brown senses that he can follow up the advantage and does. From the apron, drops down with the double sledge across the back. Another right right there, followed by another one on the back. Once you get the momentum, you've got to just go for it. And that's what these two are going to know so well. You can't give someone a chance to take it back in their favor because they know how to do that so easily. Whoa! Thought he was going to send him into the guardrail. Instead, Monty says, I've got to beat him inside the six-sided ring. So he tosses him into it. Then he turns his attention to the crowd here at the Impact Zone. Just let him know that he does what he wants when he wants. He doesn't do anything that everybody else expects. First, it's the left boot to the head of Christian Cage and then a right to the jaw. Wow, complexion of this match, it's turned totally in favor of the alpha male who's for the pin attempt, had the leg hooked, but still some life left in Christian Cage. He talked about the experience of Christian Cage, but I keep thinking the look of the stones of oh, look at that, wow! You think of the, the conditioning that Monty Brown has put himself through. I, I feel like the longer it goes, the better it is for him. Well, that's what makes this match so interesting, that difference of opinion just on something like that. How do you pick a winner in this match? Oh, oh look at these, just right around the back side to the front of the face, so he gets the forearm and the fist on him. And right now, Kristen Cage knows that this is his debut on the TNA pay-per-view, and it's not going the way he wants. Talk about no soft touches for Christian Cage. His in-ring debut, it took place this past Thursday on Impact, the primetime special. A hard-fought win over Team Canada's Bobby Roode, but now tossed into the fire here against the alpha male Monty Brown, who has dominated for the past several minutes. What an elbow right there by Monty Brown as he catches it right into the chest of Christian Cage. Drilled him with the elbow, Cage gets to his feet. Monty rocks him with the right hand, gonna try and T-bone him over, but Christian Cage fights off the suplex attempt with a series of elbow shots to the side of the head. Boy, those are stiff. Oh, and oh, look at that! Just used his momentum to his advantage, and Monty Brown goes for the pin, no! The release, overhead suplex by Monty Brown leads to a pin attempt, but no, Christian Cage avoids the three count from senior official Rudy Charles. You know, we talked about what a tough opponent it was on a pay-per-view for Christian Cage to have to face. He's gonna have to dig down, and, and that's what he's doing right now. And again, with both of these individuals having their sights set on the NWA World's Heavyweight title, they realize that you can't afford a loss in this match. You need a victory. Oh, to move up in the eyes of the championship committee, and Monty Brown charges at Christian Cage and just delivered and drove that knee right into his back. I'll tell you why Monty Brown is so focused, so impressive in this match. I mean, it's been 80% Monty Brown at this point. I mean, any time Christian Cage seems to get some kind of offense, it doesn't take Monty Brown long to counter it. Oh, man, look at that. He just pulled it with such force. He pulled the, the padding over the turnbuckle. Oh, wow. Quick reversal now. Oh, Cage shot in chest first. Directly in 
into the turnbuckle, directly into the corner. Oh, the alpha male, it's almost as if you can sense his level of confidence growing on. With, with every minute that he maintains his control and dominance in this matchup, and Christian Cage in trouble now as the alpha male Monty Brown drops out to the floor. Oh, look at this, he's gonna pull him back right there against the steel ring post. Think of that, the body's just not meant to do that, is he? God! Breaking back on the neck, breaking back on the leg. Oh, man! Man, almost like a bow and arrow. Yeah, just wrapping him back first around that steel post. Cage. Good analogy right there. Taken up to the shoulder of the alpha male, Monty Brown, but he's able to shrug him off and shoot Monty Brown across, and Monty goes chest first into the steel safety rail. But Christian Cage is in trouble here. He's trying to regroup. That's gonna help him a little bit, but boy, he's gotta get it going. I'll tell you what, though, he must have got some good force right there as Monty Brown hit it. And when you hit it chest first like that, it just knocks the wind out of you, and that's what's happened to Monty Brown. But Christian Cage, like you mentioned, he's, he just needed that respite right there just to give him some sort of a break to catch his breath. As you can see, Monty Brown right now getting back to his feet. Christian Cage regroups, rolls back in. Alpha Male on the opposite side of the ring, still out on the arena floor, and now he does as well. Boy, Cage at least back up to his feet, back up to the vertical base as Monty Brown does so as well, and now they meet in mid-ring. Nice block right there by Cage. And he unleashes right and left. Another right hand to the top of the head. Monty's still on his feet, but with each blow, you sense that Christian Cage is taking this thing back over again, but Monty Brown's out. Sprung it into the ropes, but Cage fights back. Caught him with the forearm shot, now off the ropes. Wind-up shot, caught him with another forearm, and then to the attack. Oh, that's what he has to do. He's got to be relentless. He knows that. He's got to not even give Monty Brown a chance to catch his breath. He just got to be one right after another, and I think he's got him a second win. And obviously, Christian Cage feels it right now as he's just letting him have it one right after another. Fans of the Impact Zone here at Turning Point showing their support for Christian Cage and his TNA pay per view in ring debut. Alpha male, however, just overpowered him. That's the strength that we talked about earlier. And even this deep into the match, Monty Brown is, is still using that strength and power edge against Cage. I mean, the guy has so few weaknesses to exploit. I mean, he's just so strong and physically conditioned that he can just find a way to get it back. Wait a minute, look at that old Cage, 140. Yeah! Wow, caught him a second Cage. time. Tornado DDT, not the first, but definitely dropped him with the second. Spiky one, one. lateral Two. press. No! Oh, man! I'll tell you what, though, he hit him hard with that. Great shot by Christian Cage, and that's the kind of thing that'll rock even a, a, a Monty Brown. Something like that, just get that concussion going, that head reading like that, you see stars. Yeah. Ask the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, about a concussion. Level three concussion, courtesy of Samoa Joe, as we see Christian roll up on Monty Brown, but no, just a two count. Fights out of it right there. And I'll tell you something, Monty Brown is just so hard to pin. He's just so strong. You've got to catch him to where he doesn't even realize where he's at if you're going to get the pin. And he took too long right there. Cage did getting the ropes, which gives Monty Brown time to get up there and meet him. Now, there's a reason that we call that high risk when you go to the top. And Monty Brown, he's got the bear hug applied. I don't know if you're going to try and bring him back in. What's Christian Cage doing? Looks like he's really biting the head right there. I don't know if he's biting his head or biting his head. From the top. Here he comes. Oh, he hit the frog splash. Oh, you see the impact of the frog splash causing Christian Cage to hurt his ribs. Could have opened the pin now. Here's two. I think it was that momentary delay that lost him right there. I think he would have had the three count. But by the time he got back on Monty Brown because of the injury to his ribs, only two for Christian Cage. And again, we see the strength of Monty Brown. I mean, how easily it looked like when he got his win, he tossed Christian Cage off of him. And referee, look at that power. Referee down. Oh, the alpha bomb. Referee down as well. Oh, look top. at this. Hit by Monty One, Brown. Two. No. Oh. Again, that gave him the time. That, just that split Cage second, it might be the difference. Absolutely, that split second. And you can see Monty Brown is mad. He right knows. in the face of Rudy Charles. That should have been it. And in his mind, that should have been it. Series of shots to the back by Monty Brown. What's he gonna do now? Pointing over to the corner, takes Christian by the head. Oh, quick reversal. Monty puts on the brakes, caught him with a back elbow. Follow up, full Nelson. Where's he gonna go from here? Oh, oh. He goes down and he hits the turnbuckle that's no longer protected. You're right, that exposed corner steal. He went face first in. Ready for this? Pretty early. And he hit it. His patented move. 
move. Hit the up right here. Going to roll him over. Cover. One, two. He's done it. Christian Cage has done it. The winner of the match, Christian Cage. Wow. How's that for a TNA in-ring pay-per-view debut? A victory over the Alpha Male Monty Brown Championship Committee. Take notice. I'll tell you what, it was the experience right there of Christian Cage and he was able to outlast Monty Brown to get the win.